So like we were saying on the last half of this, part one, there's an annotation, you wanna go watch it. Uh, Phil and Dustin and my roommate, Jeremy. And my roommate, Kiny. We, we played PT, the new trailer for the uh, Silent Hill game that Kojima made. Well, you heard all the Phil's emotions run through his head, and he was spooked. Let me yeah, tell I you. was so scared. Oh man, he was spooked. I was so spooked. He was guys. so spooked that he said, "I gotta go use the restroom." So I did. I well. But, now here's the well, thing. I asked Dustin if he could come with me. You wanted to somebody to come, like hold your hand. No, not hold my hand. Turn all the said, lights on. I just said turn the lights on. Sing you happy songs. Turn the light on. So Phil finally gets into the bathroom that's down the hall. And I and I just take a leak with the door open because I don't give a shit. I'm with like four other guys. And we, also you're really scared. Also I'm really scared. By yourself. Yeah, with the door shut. With, so, who knows what behind See, here's me. Occurred. I'm such a good friend, guys, that I quietly rose off the couch and just, you know, just hung out by the door of the bathroom. Real dick. Really? I didn't do anything. I was just standing there. Why? You didn't have to go to the bathroom. We know exactly what you're doing. I have been sitting on the couch for a while. I need to stretch my legs. So what he does is he stands at the edge of the hallway just in the same position that What's-Her-Face was doing in the no, game. I was, like, leaning on the wall. Yeah. You're not leaning on the wall. You're standing with your arms apart and your feet <laughs> spread menacingly. And... I, you know, after I'm done, I kind of, like, you know... Good thing you went to the bathroom beforehand. Yeah, because anyway, <laughs> um, I'm I'm chuckling and stuff from what the fuck just happened earlier with me screaming my goddamn head off and my, you know, our neighbors probably thinking that I got murdered or something. Yeah. I walk around the corner and I see a silhouette of a big, bulky figure, my friend, <laughs> Truman. It doesn't register as Truman immediately, but I'm in mid-laughter from what happened earlier, and then I see him, I let out a yelp. With all the remaining air that I have, and that's not much, but yeah. it was just like a compressed. <laughs> and uh, don't true. don't forget the salsa dance back into <laughs> the bathroom, the little hop jump back around the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, G- guys, it was beautiful. <laughs> I, I I wish I wish somebody would at least filmed it so I could have something to look back on and laugh, but I don't. Well, so here's what you don't know. What Dustin almost did my cover like constantly. He was laughing about I, I what heard, I was doing. I heard him laughing. But then they were like, we got to act normal. And they were just quiet, like silent for a little bit. Yeah. And then Jeremy was like, that will throw Phil off the You know that I wasn't well. thinking about you guys. So I was thinking about everything else. I was holding laughs in being <laughs> on that wall. I had to like step away because I was just about to bust up laughing. <laughs> and guys, let me tell you, it was very rewarding <laughs> um, just spooking my friend Just playing a little prank, a little trick So I walk out And you know, I, I went from From manic laughter To a, 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 a Yelp of absolute fear And then Laughter again And then I started to walk in here and I started to cry <laughs> Like <laughs> Did you I don't want this to, like, call you out and make it. It's fine. Like, I don't were care. you actually crying? I was actually crying. Did you not see the tears? <laughs> it looked like you were about to, but I didn't notice Okay, that. well, earlier, like... I thought our friendship was over because you I, were so upset. I mean, if it was you in that in my shoes, I, the friendship probably would have been over. Yeah, I would have been done. You <laughs> would have been like... You're, that's it. That's it. I don't know. I would have left. But, um... But Dustin was over by the front door, like, curled up in a ball, just laughing. Like, he was, he was trying to stand, but he wasn't really good at it. Because he, uh, he was laughing so hard. It was just, like, there was so much chaos going on in here. Because everybody was at a mindset in which they were all so... Relieved. Relieved that we had finished playing that that good game. And just just laughter, crying, mostly for me. That was just, it was me doing the crying. And the yell earlier, it was, it was a it was a great deal. It was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster of emotions, and that's why I like horror games so much. Because I love feeling different things, not physically. I'm talking about more of a mental emotion kind of thing. So I've got a question for you, Phil. Okay, what? While we're talking about spooky, scary. Yeah. When you're a kid. Yeah. What's the scariest movie you watched? Oh God! I thought you were gonna say the scariest thing that's ever happened. I was like, oh. Different time, different episode. 
But the scariest movie that I've ever watched... Like, I mean, as um, a kid. Not necessarily, like, very recently. Either Pee-wee's Big Adventure. That's not a scary movie. Only... I, I'm saying, <laughs> for kids' standards, mm-hmm. it is. Because of the things... The, jump things that happened like the bus driver lady yeah i could see that yeah, the clown but... dream with the guy with those yeah, clowns are really really happy surgeons. Clowns. Clowns. yeah they're clown doctors how do you think <laughs> clowns get surgery go to a normal surgeon okay. no yeah okay they would be laughing too hard to and do the surgery you got to get a clown surgeon to do clown surgery it's anyway. just how it works okay anyway um possibly Oh man, I'm just thinking of scary moments from. from yeah, I'm, just, I'm thinking like this. like Temple of Doom when that one guy gets like lavaed, something like that. I don't fucking even remember. Some guy gets his heart. pulled out. He gets Kali Mod and got his heart pulled out. Yeah, there was one. That's guy a really was, cool scene. I feel like one guy was in a cage and there was lava everywhere. There is like a big whirlpool lava something. I, I think. Uh, maybe maybe I'm just remembering shit like nothing that actually happened, but. Um, uh, here I'll, I'll tell go you. Go ahead and tell me tell, yours. Like I can't think of like a certain movie that is scarier than the other ones because I don't watch scary movies because mm-hmm. scary movies are scary and I don't like them. I watch Psycho and The Birds and different how Alfred Hitchcock stuff like that. So maybe that, maybe Jaws. But There's anyway, something. go on. So y- you know, in Planet of the Apes. Yeah. So Planet of the Apes, Crash Land, and they're all getting out of their pods and oh, <laughs> lady, lady's missing. Yeah. So it there's a there's essentially a jump scare when they like go show her face yeah. in a broken container, and there's like a, a kind of a screamy like violin yeah. cue. But it's actually the uh, the ship breaking under the weight of the water, which they were in a lake. Scared me. I yeah. hated that scene. They were in a in a lake with not that much air pressure. Air um, pressure. But anyway, another movie that wasn't really scary but just uneasy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Willy, not Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. No, it's Willy Wonka yeah, and the Charlie course, Factory. Yeah, I always get forget which one is the you, old one. What are you nine? It, kinda. Okay. Uh, I always found the Oompa Loompas really unsettling. I didn't like the Violet Bo- Beauregard blueberry scene. Yeah, yeah. Like the tunnel didn't have a problem with the tunnel. Some people have problem with like the foam machine. I I don't even remember. Like I, I don't. Those I mean, scenes. I remember a lot of that, but I mean, I watched that movie when I was twelve at the latest or at the at the earliest, and I, that wasn't the age where you get scared of stuff like that. But, anyway. but yeah, so I guess there's a couple of scary scenes Willy Wonka. That's I'm like I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Jaws might have been one of the scariest movies I saw yeah. as a small kid. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe Alien. I don't remember being scared of that though for some reason. Uh, anyway, I yeah. saw Predator. I was just wondering. Yeah. Scary. All right. Yeah. You want to talk about something not scary? Um, sure. So I found a new addiction. Okay. On the internet. What? You know how we had Twitch plays Pokemon? Yeah. Well, there was a spawn off of that recently called Fish plays Pokemon. I... But here's the thing. Fish played Pokemon sucked, and it was really slow and boring. Yeah. So once... The fish beat his rival. They cut the stream, but they have introduced a new stream. Yep. It's called Fish Play Street Fighter. And I started watching that as well. There are... Okay, I'm just going to explain how it works. There is a fish tank with nothing in it and a webcam scanning the fish tank, monitoring where the two fish... There's an orange goldfish and a black goldfish. Right. They're swimming around, and the webcam cuts the tank into quadrants and whichever quadrant the fish is in is the key that it's pressing on the super nintendo yes and they've been just all day running tournaments yeah and let me tell you yeah i was watching it and i was like yeah it's kind of stupid until i watched aquarius grapple suplex and take the guy down and win and i was like holy shit this is awesome. So we'll put a link to Fish Plays Pokemon. Guys, I watched it. I'm not when I I went to a I party. I was about to link it to uh to my Facebook today because I just watched like you know three games I, and I was like, dude, I, I you know. I went and hung out with some other friends this evening and I watched it for like an hour and a half today. 
Well, it's it's. I don't know why it's so interesting because really it's not that interesting. It's just fish playing video games. A lot of lot of jumping. About that. A lot of jumping. A lot of walking like against a wall. Yeah. But I don't know. There's something. It's just the fact that they're fish. Every so often, it's they, almost as if they know what they're doing. It, every so often, it's just like they they know. They they, they planned know. that. They got them. They timed that jump. Do you know if the fish actually have a screen in their room? I don't think they. I was reading the comments, and the fish are completely oblivious <laughs> to what they're doing. They're just swimming around. Okay. Well. But it's good. Well, there you have it. I know Aquarius likes kin a lot. That's his choice. One one of them is that the black one? No, the black one is uh, is Bruce. Okay, I know. Like when I was watching, like the gold one, I think picked Ryu three times in a row. There was a period of time where I think he picked Dalsum, which that is like a specific key press. You have to like scroll over and select Dalsum. He picked Dalsum like twelve games in a row or something. Jeez. He was maining Dalsum for a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I don't know, like, tonight, Bruce was doing E-Honda a lot, which is also another really specific key combination. Yeah, okay. I, it's, it's so intriguing. Because they're fish. It's just fish, swimming around, playing video games. Who'd have thought? Yeah. Alexander Graham Bell making telephones, how, you didn't even know. Fish, playing video games. It's happened. It's, the future's now. That's, you heard it here. <laughs> You heard it. You heard it here on the Chapman. The future is now. The future is now. Fishman, fish playing video games. It was when I left. It was seventy-five Bruce, sixty-four Aquarius. That was the tally so far for the day. Wow. So, come on, Bruce. I love Bruce. He's my my man. Which one was that again? The black one. Okay. It's good. Good fish. Good good fish. <laughs> so, um. So there's another thing. What what do you have? Okay, now this this is kind of you know. I. I. I Good. Okay. Way way to start with a nice long stammer. This story is going to be very brief, and it's also going to be very, very uh, like why am I bringing this up right now? Oh yeah. So. Well, that's good. So I, I'm sitting. I, I don't know what's before, about to happen, guys. Before before we start the game, I'm sitting here, and then Truman says something about, um, "Hey, you uh, you want to put a whole tortilla in the garbage disposal, huh, or something like that?" I don't I don't know what how that joke came about. Okay, here's the thing. Dustin contacted me. I'll I'll tell you the story. That actually happened after you. I tell can't him believe we're talking about. I know this that's show. what I say. <laughs> so stupid. I know. Here we go. So, I'm I, I have a soggy true. Okay, Dustin's in the process of taking out the trash. There's no trash bag in the trash bin. Mm -hmm. So, the, I have from when we went to Chili's that one time. Yes. And I gave the waitress that uh, that letter. Yes. That, um, that uh, when I when I filled out that um, playbook. Yeah, that, the uh, one I stole for you. Yeah, what was that? It was just a crayon coloring book for Yeah, you. yeah, and I for kids. Yeah, and I did all the word searches and word scrambles wrong and mm -hmm. wrote things that I probably should have done. Did left the behind. correct? Yeah, I did it right. Yeah, I drew pentagrams and six 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 is all over the place. Anyway, so I you know that aside, we went to Chili's. Bought some fajitas, left them in the fridge. They were in there for quite some time. There was yeah. a, there was a, I, I had one tortilla left and it was just soggy with salsa. It was gross. It was freaking gross. And I didn't want to, first of all, trash bit bag was gone. Yeah. But even it, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have. Put in the bag in. Yeah. But I, he was in the process of putting the bag in. But even if it was, I didn't, because he, he mentioned something about never putting food in the trash can. Why? Because it would smell bad. But that's what it's for. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I'm in the process of putting the small saucer uh, sized tortilla in the garbage disposal to turn it on because it dissolves in water. And then you would have you'd have think that I was in the process of killing a man when Dustin screams, "No!" And I say, "Shit, what?" And he says, "What are you doing?" And I say, I, "I'm just I'm just putting this small tortilla in the garbage disposal." It wasn't that small. It was, it was, it was, it was this That's big. That's pretty big. 
I mean, it's pretty big. No. You ever hear the phrase like dinner plates? That is, it was not like a dinner plate, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It was like the kind that you put a teacup on. Maybe like a like a gnome's dinner plate. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're not gonna get into how big gnomes are. They're pretty. I mean, think, think about gar garden gnomes. Yeah. Maybe. Sure. Big banquet plate. Fine. That's big banquet plate for yeah. a gnome. No. Anyway. Um, so for the gnome banquet, they would have larger plates. So like I'm I'm you know I'm I'm just I'm just getting it out of the, out of the out of the tray or whatever and then he like yells and then he's just like what are you doing and I was like well I mean this is what a garbage disposal is for isn't it to you know dispose of your garbage and it just anyway he's just like no that's weird and I from my knowledge it didn't fall under any of the things that you're not supposed to put in the garbage disposal, which it doesn't, because I read the list. I don't very care specifically. if you went to and asked cares. Jeeves and I looked up how do garbage I, disposal. I I just did, because everybody had a consensus. Well, okay, here's what we're going to do. Phil is going to explain why it was appropriate, and then I'm going to rebuttal on why it's not. And then we will let the audience decide. How about you start with the rebuttal? Okay, and start I will with... explain what a garbage disposal is for. Yes. Okay, so you're washing dishes. You yes. can't get, like, all the food off something. And the yes. food collects in the sink. If that food just goes through the pipes, there's a good chance it could get clogged down the line. Right. So, you run the garbage disposal for all the scrap food that has fallen Correct. off of plates you're cleaning. Correct. You grind that up so it is very unlikely it will clogged on the line. It's not for taking things and putting into the garbage disposal for the reason of grinding it up to put it down the line. That is what the trash is for. Now, Food. I would say that this is is so... I, I would agree with all those points, except for the fact that it was only one, and it wouldn't be cramming it down the garbage disposal. Did you have to fold it? No. Because it was soggy? Yes. If it wasn't soggy, would you have had to fold it? I, I don't... Probably. Okay. But it was so soggy that it would have just fallen apart the moment that it hit water. Okay. So I just, you know, it was like it was like I was holding a little bit of a... Like a... I, I don't even... What What is something that's soggy and to, to rips apart the moment you touch it? Like like toilet paper dipped in, 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 in water? Sort of like that? So anyway... Um, I, I'm just... That's it. I, I'm not, I'm not going to say Phil's wrong or I'm right. I'm going to say I believe that something larger than a teaspoon should not go, like, the spoon part of a teaspoon. Anything bigger than that, soggy or not, should not go in the garbage disposal. Put that in the trash. Now, I would say that's what the, if, if the knives can easily break it down to something smaller than a teaspoon, like, it, even more insignificant than that, which is what the blades are for, by the way. That you shouldn't have. That's that should be fine. And and you can only you should only put the things in the garbage disposal that can be absorbed, like dissolved in water. Not corn, not eggshells or anything like that. I didn't know about the eggshells, by the way. I, that yeah. was part of the th thing on the list. That's the list. I don't. That's not a thing that goes in the sink ever. I crack right. eggs and throw away because that's just yeah. what you do. Yeah, that was... So why people would put eggshells in the I sink? I never eat eggs or make them, so I don't either. So, uh, anybody out there listening, comment. Uh, Does a soggy tortilla... Could that go in the garbage disposal and get torn up by the just knives? Just say yes, f you can put it down the garbage disposal, or... And Dustin's gonna be pissed when he finds out that I am just I this is on my mind but apparently it was on his mind too since he told it to all my friends I my am agreeing with Dustin Dustin just said hey this happened do you think it's weird and I said yeah. yes why did Phil put a tortilla down the garbage disposal it should have gone in the trash Yeah. you had a takeout box it was already in could have just thrown all of that away call it good okay Dustin just said something earlier about him never putting food in the trash, so I just... So comment, yes for Phil, or no for not Phil. Oh, but, <laughs> but, I realized, after, like, while, you know, he was yelling, that there was a trash bag out front that I could just throw it in. Yeah. That was not in the house, that would not start smelling like 
shit because the, it would have started to smell weird after some point with all the mold collected on it and stuff that it already kind of had <laughs> accumulated. I went ahead and just put it in the trash bag out front because I was like, well, then that's that's no big deal. There's nothing to worry about there. So, yeah, what a what a way to wrap up this episode. What a, just a varied spectrum of an episode this has been. Talked about a Netflix series, a horseman, scary games, spooking friends. Yeah. Fish. Uh, garbage disposal. Garbage disposal. Good thing we ended on that high note. Well, you know, I just, it was, it was, it was on my mind. I guess it's been on Destiny's mind as well. When I brought it up, when, when we were all present, he told me to stop talking about it. But I just, I can't. It, it was kind of getting heated. I was with him. He just needed to drop it. Yeah. 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 Alright, guys. Uh, check us, check in the description for the Twitch Plays or Fish Plays Street Fighter. That's down there. But also, we're the Chapman are on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. Go like the Facebook page. You know, get updates from when we post and stuff. We got, you're already on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to pass us a like, we'll take that as well. But you don't have to do that one. No, you don't. I mean, we, that subscribe button is for you. To keep you up to date. Yeah. I'm also, we're also on Twitter. If we had more followers, I'd be more active on Twitter. As it is, it just tweets the updates. So guess what? What? Guess what? Hey, guess I'll what? guess what. Uh, what's the category? What's the category? Oh, by the way, we, we did the Al's uh, Ice Water Bucket Challenge, so that's on YouTube now. You probably saw it if you were subscribed. But if you're not, you probably didn't see it. So you that's, I mean, you, you did you didn't. You might look it up. Could have half seen it. Like, closed one eye. Or looked away a little bit and looked at it in your peripheral vision. Yeah. Or just, uh, like, yelled really loud so you couldn't hear the dialogue and kind of shook your head really fast. Back yeah, just like, it. dance? Yeah, sort of, like that, sort of like that uh, lady did in, in Whoa. the game. Wait up, bring it around, Phil. Wow, full circle. Full circle. Full circle. We're not going to get just any like better that, than that. Just like that hallway that we were walking around in. That was, was more of like a right angle. It was like an L. It was like a square. <laughs> if you're if you're if you're compare if you're talking about the two dimensions in which the uh, hallway corner repeated itself. I think we're done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just ramble, 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 ramble. Oh, that's it. The ah. Uh, <laughs> This is how we finish an episode. We sing and we make up rhymes. Closing jingles are brand new. We didn't even plan them, but they're here all the time. All the time in our head. Even when we think that. I've tried to sleep for dead. 48 hours in the camp because I'm sleeping.